All right, so we're just over by the printer. Uh, so we're running the Mamaki TS300 printer. So we, the first thing we need to do is just set the media. So that just means that you've set the print head um, and it's registered the paper. So we can actually watch that happen in here. Just gonna scan across um, and register the actual width of the media that's currently loaded in to the printer. So ideally when we're doing this we want the papers to be flat but you can see there's a bit of a kink in that. Um, doesn't really matter for demonstration purposes but usually we'd have it taped on so it wouldn't do that. Um, the next step we need to do, so as I was saying in the previous video, this is all hooked up to our network hard drive, our NAS. So we just want to go ahead and find that file that I set up earlier um, and just drag it into the RIP software. So we've got this folder set up here, Aquinas Demo. So I'm just going to drop that into the hot folder. It's going to take a second to just um, recognize that file and bring it into the print queue. Oh. So all our favorite settings for um, quality and all that, it's already loaded in. Um, it's already saved, so we just need to go ahead and print that now. So printing in reverse, so that way when we go ahead to press it, it's going to come out the right way. So all I need to do now is press start, and that should actually start printing, provided that that's on remote, not local mode. So press start, and we'll see this starting to print now. Just going to tape that on so that way we don't get any head strikes. And you see it's got a roller here, so as we're doing a larger order, maybe a hundred tops, um, they're all just going to roll onto this roller and we would just get that and take it off at the other side and we can cut the papers up and start pressing. So it's almost there. So the colours that are coming out here are they're going to be quite different to what we're seeing on the screen. And it's also pretty different once it actually gets pressed. So here, sometimes it can look a bit lighter or, you know, a purple can look slightly more red or some, some sort of weirdness can happen. It's not until we actually transfer it to the fabric that we see what it's going to look like um, when we give it to the customer. So we always do our test prints to make sure everything's correct. And then once everything's good, we'll do a sample like this and uh, ready to go? Yep. Yeah.